This morning is September the 8th of the year 2023. You see this? Empty. As you can see, absolutely no correspondence showed up again. Again, non compliance, non attendance, discrimination, and racism. This morning it is September the 8th of the year 2023. It is 8.53 a.m. in the morning. We're here in Fabens, Texas. I am Jeanette, mother of Diego Daniel Armenta and of Juan Ulises Diaz. As you can see, the usual, and it's been decades of it, non-compliance, ridicule, discrimination, feels as hate, very tortful hate, non-attendance, racism. I have the right to assume as necessary. I'm innocent that there were thousands of cases, including through several family. We several have looked alike and them several have looked alike, including others that are non-family. Thousands of people were conspiratorially competing through cases to causes. There was discrimination, there was tort, there was cheating, sabotage, exploitation. So what might be the reason as to why correspondents continue to ignore and to discriminate? Is it that their hate and their racism is so extreme that they don't give a shit, they don't give a fuck? Or what is it? Claire, they're asking the one being hungry, right? I haven't even been able to eat breakfast this morning. They're not the ones living in poverty. Is it because we're right here forced to live in extreme poverty? Which to me, this house is like our castle. Because there's a roof. And I did put money into this house too. Various ways. We're of special circumstance every, every way. Through thousands of categories since before our birth. And since prior and since of a... As our birth, my two sons and me, and numerous additional of our relatives too. So, this is the usual. Non-compliance, non-attendance, discrimination, and racism. Sheriff Department, Chief of Police, FBI, DEA, CIA, Department of Defense, Interpol, Attorney Generals, numerous general attorneys, Texas Governor, Vice President, variety of presidents, variety of chiefs, Department of Homeland Security, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Oil, the Vatican, the Pope, Fabens Independent School District, El Paso County Courthouse, which the recent years, so we've learned through newscasts that they had changed probably a name to Enrique Moreno County Courthouse or something like that. And there's numerous additional correspondents that involved throughout the years against us. I am true special circumstance regarding name, regarding identities, and I'm very innocent of it. Every of my identities must be respected. We're here, merely surviving, forced through hardships, through poverty. I would have liked to look so pretty, so fixed up, so everything this morning for this another conference meeting. But guess what? I don't even have shampoo. I don't even know what I'm going to feed my children later on, my sons later on. We've been discriminated from variety of services, of programs, of benefits. It's been a ridicule, it's been absurd, it's been terrible, and it's been decades. Including through family, several women in wheelchairs that were either faking, cheating, or lying regarding being my mother, and several men. How could it be possible? It's completely impossible that of several men and several women having, having made me or having conceived me, 
I'm innocent of being through special circumstance. My sons are innocent of being through special circumstance. Today is Friday, September the 8th of the year 2023. We're at 1019 Land Green, Fabens, Texas, 79838. Land Green is a street that crosses with another called Aspen Hills and one more called Yan. Again, as usual, non-compliance, non-attendant, non-attendance, discrimination, and racism. It's not funny whatsoever. Including through relatives, there was much conspiracy. We're innocent of the level of racism, of hate, of so-called competitions that were included through several governments that involved at international levels. I've insisted including up to international levels, but I'm extremely disappointed, disappointing. I'm very affected and very saddened. It's very traumatizing to realize the level of ingratitude of how selfish and egotistical, how discriminative and how racist which variety of correspondence to variety of entities, departments, agencies, groups, organizations, firms, districts, and additional type correspondence to numerous categories, including up to state, federal, governmental. They've been so selfish and so egotistical regarding their own self-interests, not caring whatsoever regarding the full respect regarding every of our rights. I've been insisting to press charges decades. And with that of that there's several that look like several of us and several that compete against us look several look among them. Numerous people cheated, including regarding constitutional rights. Thousands of our rights have been neglected. Discrimination has been extreme. My sons are very affected. My sons are also Texan and very innocent. Our mental health is important. Our well-being is important. Our rights are important. Our body health and body wellness are also important. It ain't being race, racist whatsoever on my part to explain very important comparisons. It's always been that including people that are really unlawful migrants onto this country. They've had more rights and more respect to their rights and more alternatives than we that were born here and that live here. And we're innocent of the several deportations that we were forced to out and back into this country. And of the terrible crimes that were done to us throughout. Is it that correspondents are such criminals? And that conspirators, racists, and identity thieves that affected us have so much dirt on them. Dirt as in that they know regarding their crimes, their racism, their dishonesty through office. That, or is it that they took bribery, that they've stolen? What's the reason? What could be the possible reason for the ongoing and continuous discrimination, racism, hate, negligence? And what's so upsetting is that their negligence, their discrimination, their hate, their non-compliance, their non-attendance, that's affecting my responsibilities to myself and the responsibilities to both my sons. We have needs too. We get hungry too. Our rights, including of really being happy, are being affected. Our rights to proper health, our rights to better education, through thousands of categories, including of employment, of benefits, of services, of alternatives. We're being affected thousands of ways, and this has been happening years, years, and years. And it ain't about merely surviving. There's much pain that was thousands of reasons I do reproach, including government correspondence that keep on being negligent by refusing to enforce that our rights be respected through every single